Today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial on this look. It's my beachy slash fair faucet hair. Now, I love this hair so much. I wear it all the time. I love big hair. And this is exactly the type of hair I go for on a regular basis. It's just pretty and easy and it's just good for every occasion. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, whatever you guys like. Um, I just think it's just really easy, it's simple, and it's just an effortless kind of wave to the hair. It looks kind of difficult, but trust me, it's really, really easy. Let's get started. What you're going to need is a hairbrush. This has a lot of hair, but whatever, excuse that. A couple of these kind of, I guess they're called butterfly clips, I'm not really sure. And... A uh, curling iron. This is a curling wand. You can use a curling iron and just open up the clamp and wrap the hair in. Or you can use a curling wand. I'm going to use this curling wand. I'm not really sure. I believe it's either three quarters of an inch or half an inch. But I'm pretty sure three quarters. So it just looks like this. I got it from Marshalls. It was 30 bucks. It's by um, Mica or Mica Beauty. Um, there's no heat settings. It's just an offer off on switch so it's really hot right now it heats up really fast and I really like it so let's get started you're gonna if if you're new to this you might wanna have a glove to wrap around just because you don't want to burn your hands but I've done this a lot uh, a long a lot of times I'm sorry so we're gonna do let me just take out my hair I just have a bunch of bobby pins because I was like, I'm not going to go on the video looking crazy. So I have like a million bobby pins in my hair. Okay. Oops. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to, oh, is you're going to brush out your hair. So, I'm just going to brush out my hair just like this. And as you can see, my hair is pretty puffy. So, it's whatever. It'll work for straight hair, um, preferably, like, not washed hair, like, two-day hair would probably make it just stay better, but my hair is freshly washed, but it's whatever, it'll work fine. So, you're going to want to do is you're going to split it from, like, right at the tip of your ear on both sides, take it, wrap the rest of your hair up with the clip, and then that's it. Then you're just going to want to spread your hair in half, right? Brush it out real quick. Oops, oops. It like opens and closes. I don't know why it does that. So, okay. So now that it's brushed, let me get closer. I'm going to want to get your wand, and you're going to want to take a pretty, it's like an inch section. It's not too big, not too small. It's just perfect. Now, I like my hair to go out of my face just because it's hot and it's summer and I don't want to be sweating like a freaking maniac. So, what are you going to do? You're going to take your piece of hair, you're going to put your curling wand downwards, you're going to hold it there, and you're just going to wrap. And I like to leave a little piece out just because I don't want to burn myself, especially on camera. So, just hold it there for a couple of seconds. And you have this like beautiful bouncy curl. So I'll show you again. You want to take your piece, hold your curling one downwards, and then you just wrap. And just like that. So you're just curling away from your face. Okay, so I'll be back. Let me just do this side and then I'll show you how to do the other side. Okay, so as you can see, I curled this whole side of my head, well not side, this portion of my hair. Now, I just want to comb it through. 
so that I have like this really beachy effect because I really don't like when it's too tight so it looks just like that so now I'm just going to show you how to do the other side now there's two ways of doing um, your right side just because I'm a righty so it's easier for me to hold it on my left side um, so this is one way you can do it you can hold it just like you did on the other side you're going to take the suction you're going to hold it you're going to face it down and you're just going to go away from your face right so then we're going to hold it there for a couple seconds I'm going to say 5 to 7 seconds so it's really not that long and then just like that but the way that I like to do it just because it's easier for me I hold it just like this and then I take my suction and I just wrap it away from my face now I feel like it's much easier just because I have the tool in my hand and I'm always scared like it's gonna fall on me so I feel like I have more of a grip with my right hand but if you're lefty you can do it with your left hand whatever you prefer but I just like doing it this way so you're just going to keep continuing doing all of the curls away from your face I mean you can like you can go um, towards your face and away from your face to make your hair more voluminous but I like my hair away from my face just because it makes me feel better but if my hair is feeling flat one day then I just do both um, just so they don't clump together and it just makes your hair pretty like big and pretty but I like it this way so okay this whole set is done so now I'm gonna do the next section and then I'll come back to show you the bangs okay my loves now I did most of my hair already I just need to brush it out and now I'm just gonna do my top layer which is like my bangs which are really not that much of bangs anymore but I'm just gonna do it for you guys so I'm gonna get the curling iron and same thing that you've been doing just away from your face but at the top you really don't want to do it so tightly like you want to pick up bigger pieces just due to the fact that you don't want like Shirley Temple curls you know what I mean you want pretty loose curls so I took pretty big pieces and I just wrapped them around the barrel and away from my face it just because I didn't want huge huge curls now they look pretty tight right now so I'm just gonna start brushing them out you see what it does it just makes it really really soft and I like that I don't like I don't like tight tight curls so we're just gonna brush them gently gently and you see how you got like that little whoop kind of thing going on and I'm just gonna brush it out and brush it there and we have it just looking super voluminous and super voluminous and super just pretty now let's do the other side I take the clip down and we're just gonna brush it and if you are using the technique this way for this side of the hair you're gonna wanna um, just do it this way just because it's easier so we're just gonna wrap 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 and release because we do not want to curl ah, okay so let's take this and we're gonna wrap it around and just again away from your face you do not want the curls in your face unless that's like something that you really like but it's not what I like so and the last piece I'm gonna do is right here actually one more piece Why is it like not cooperating today? Oops. Oopsies. Okay. And 
last piece. It's so hard to like do this on camera with like no mirror. It's like really difficult. I'm like staring into the screen. I'm sorry guys. So, and then we just unwrap the curl just like that. Okay, now we're going to brush this side out. Well, you see that? It's like really high up. So we're just going to brush it out. Oof, I had some, some naps. I had some naps going on. Hear that? Okay, so now what you want to do is you just want to... I'm just going to look in my mirror. You're just kind of masking it. Actually, you know what this really looks like? This looks like Sarah Fossey. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and I hope you would like to see many more to come. Bye. Summer nights are right.